forget green screens. Today we're going to be talking about the $100 million dome that's destroying them. And no, I'm not talking about a sci-fi weapon or a natural disaster. I'm talking about the revolutionary innovation that's transforming the way filmmakers create immersive and realistic environments for their stories. I'm talking about the volume. The secret to film is that it's an illusion. There's nothing like it. It takes your breath away. You have the illusion of movement. You have the illusion of space and time. It's really an end-to-end -end solution. I'm losing my mind. It's just an amazing piece of technology. It transports you somewhere. It makes you feel like you're there. The volume is the epic sounding name given to a massive LED video wall that surrounds a circular stage, creating a 360 degree virtual backdrop that can display any location or scene imaginable. It was developed by Industrial Light and Magic, the visual effects company founded by George Lucas, and it was first used extensively on the hit Disney Plus series The Mandalorian. Since then, it's been used on several other projects, such as Thor Love and Thunder, The Batman, The Book of Boba Fett, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, and more. But what makes the volume so special, and why is it better than the traditional green screen technique? Well, there are several advantages and disadvantages of using a green screen in film production. Let's take a look at some of them. One of the main advantages of using a green screen is that it allows filmmakers to shoot scenes that would otherwise be impossible, impractical, or too expensive to film in real locations. For example, if you want to show your characters flying in space, fighting in a fantasy world, or exploring an ancient ruin, you can simply film them in front of a green canvas and then replace it with a digital background later on in post-production. This gives you a lot of creative freedom and flexibility to tell any story you want. However, using a green screen also comes with some significant drawbacks. One of them is that it requires a lot of lighting to make the green color uniform and bright enough to be easily removed. This can create problems with color spill, which is when the green light reflects onto other parts of the set or onto the actor's skin, hair, or clothing. This can make the final result look unnatural and unconvincing, especially in the case of a television series like The Mandalorian, whose main character always wears a set of highly reflective armor. If this show had been filmed with a traditional green screen, the titular character likely would have looked more like this. Another drawback of using a green screen is that it can make the actor's performance more difficult and less realistic. Since they're acting in front of a blank wall, they have to rely on their imagination and direction to visualize what they're supposed to see and react to. This can be challenging or frustrating for some actors, especially if they have to interact with objects or characters that aren't physically on the set. It can also make the director's job harder, as they have to communicate their vision clearly and constantly monitor the camera angles and movements to make sure they match with the intended background. This is where the volume comes in handy. The volume solves many of these problems by using high-definition LED screens that display photorealistic images of the desired background in real time. The images are generated by a video game engine called Unreal Engine, which allows for dynamic lighting, shadows, reflections, and parallax effects. The images also change according to the camera's position and orientation, creating a sense of depth and perspective. The volume offers several benefits over using a green screen. One of them is that it provides natural lighting for the actors and the set, eliminating the need for excessive artificial lighting and reducing color spill. Another benefit is that it gives the actors something tangible and realistic to look at and interact with, enhancing their performance and emotion. It also gives the director more creative control and feedback over the scene, as they can see what the final result will look like on set and make adjustments accordingly. The volume also saves time and money in post-production, as it reduces or eliminates the the need for chroma keying, rotoscoping, compositing, and other visual effects processes that are usually required when using a green screen. In some cases, the shots captured on the volume are considered final or near final, meaning that they don't need any further editing or enhancement. Of course, the volume isn't perfect either. It also has some limitations and challenges that need to be addressed. One of them is that it's very expensive to build and operate. According to some reports, each volume costs around $100 million to construct and requires a lot of power and maintenance. It also takes up a lot of space and can only accommodate a limited number of actors and props on stage. Another limitation of the volume is that it can still look artificial or fake in some situations. For example, if there are fast moving objects or characters on screen, they can create motion blur or flicker on the LED panels. Also, if there are fine details or edges on the actors or the set, they can create aliasing or jagged lines on the screen. These issues can be fixed or minimized by using higher resolution screens, faster refresh rates, anti-aliasing filters, and other techniques, but they can still be noticeable and distracting for some viewers. The volume also isn't suitable for every type of scene or genre. For instance, if the scene requires a lot of physical interaction with the environment, such as climbing, jumping, or falling, 
It might be safer and more realistic to the practical set or a stunt double. Also, if the scene is set in a very dark or nighttime location, the brightness of the LED screens might be too high and create unwanted glare or contrast. In these cases, using a green screen or a blue screen might be a better option. The volume is a remarkable innovation that's changing the way filmmakers create immersive and realistic environments for their stories. Although it isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, it's still a powerful tool that can be used to make some really compelling illusions. The secret to film is that, is that it's an illusion. And with the volume, the illusion is more convincing than ever. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.